Hey guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this fantastic, fabulous Friday, TGIF. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light to you, and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can please do me the honor, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Even give me a thumbs up if you feel like you resonate or enjoy the video that you are watching. And even drop me a comment if you feel free. I love positive feedback. And if you are a returning sub, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Love and light. Namaste to you too. And many blessings are yet to come. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, how stress and negativity can impact the body. Today I'm listening to the extended version of Art, Art of Noise. I will be posting that in the link down below. That that CD, I mean, I've had that album for years. It's like I can't find it no more, so I listen to it on um on YouTube. I love, I love Art of Noise. It's just man it is just calming and soothing that's why when you guys come to my my video come to my channel and listen to my videos i try to put a lot of relaxing music in the background because you never know what a person's going through You're like let me go on and see what ross i'm talking about today you know because she'll be talking about some crazy stuff and it's just like i try to make sure you have you know when you're very relaxed like you're going to a spa or having a mimosa taking up whatever you do to relax put it that way just whatever you do to relax so it's just like when my when I, I used to hear that old wives tale growing up, you know, you need to quit stressing because it will make you sick. It, it can it can kill you, and it's really true. It can really kill you. So guys, when you're going through stuff, you know, and I know it's hard to do because you I don't know what y'all are going through. I know what I'm going through, and it's just like when I when I put my stuff out, you know, my kids was just like, Mom, why you do that? Why you put stuff like this on on YouTube? And it's just like anytime you can turn a, a negative impact that you have went through in your life into a positive to help others that are going through stuff that's the only way to go that's the only way to go because it's just like i'm being honest with myself when everything comes out you won't know okay Rosalind was honest with us because it's just like so many things i can't be stressed about stuff that i've been through in my past i can't you know i've done things i'm not ashamed of you know there's things that i have been ashamed of but you know i i you can't change it you cannot change it. So I can't really stress out about the things that um, that I went through in my past. All I can know is if, I, if I'm trying to correct it and I'm trying to make a better way for me and my children, that's, that's all I need to do. And it's just like I do a lot of prayer and meditation. And it's just like I used to have a bad habit, like I told you guys before, of when I got stressed out, I smoked cigarettes or, you know, I smoked weed. And that was, you know, the way to, that I felt at that time, how it helped me with my stress. And, it, you know, everything serves a purpose in your life. And it's just like we have a blueprint of our lives that things we have to go through to get to what we got to get to. And it's just like, you know, you find your different ways of outlet. Like mine, I find mine through my dad's music. Um, mine now without, you know, all the extra hallucinants and stuff like that um and antidepressants and everything is meditation and prayer and it's just like there's so many calming ways to do it and healthy ways to do it other than you know going about it in a stressful way that can lead you to being sick you know back in the day you know i went through a lot of things and um you know losing my mom the cancer you know going through my childhood abuse and everything like that i found myself addicted to you know painkillers and um it was like a car accident i've been you know i got hit by a drunk driver and i had crushed my whole left side of my body to where you know it, it messed my back up where i had permanent damage i, I messed up my teeth um uh to where it's like my teeth are messed up in the front and I had to I need to get fixed and it, it was just really messed up so it was just like a whole lot of things that and then it led me to being addicted to painkillers and antidepressants to the point where I OD'd a couple of times because I came addicted to it so when I finally moved here it's like you can't get you know in you know where I was at in the midwest you know it was so easy to get access to stuff like that and it's just sad because I've lost so many friends and you know people that i knew 
that has died over, you know, stuff like that. And I knew it would probably be in, in, in the same result as me. So I, it's like when I moved here to the South, you can't get medicine like that. You got to go through different stages to get it. So I had to cut it off cold turkey. So the next thing you know, I'm sorry, you know, I've been smoking since I was, you know, smoking cigarettes since I was like 20, 21 on and off. So it's, it felt really good to where I can stay like almost a month. A little bit over a month that I've stopped smoking cigarettes. You know, I might crave one like, you know, my daughter's father, he smokes cigarettes. And I'm like, oh, let me pass one. And I'm like, ugh. You know, it's just so nasty. I can't even stand the smell of cigarette smoke no more because it just it smells nasty. And it's like, you know, it clears your, your throat after you finish smoking. Like, I had to stop. You know, it's just a lot of people say, oh, I can't stop cold turkey because I thought I was going to have to get the Nicorette patch. But I just ate spearmints all the time. So, um... And that what took over my cravings and everything like that. So it's just like when I deal with stress and, you know, sadness and stuff like that, I try to meditate. I, you know, I act goofy, dance around, listen to my dad's music and stuff. So it's just like when you guys, when you know you, there's things that has impacted your life and, you know, past trauma, like I've told you in different um, videos that I've dealt with, uh, that I've did before, um... You, you have to learn how to deal with it and not become a victim of the things that you went through. And I know it's hard to do at times because you could have really went through some traumatic stuff. And I'm not saying, oh, whatever you're going through, get over it. No, I'm not saying that. It's just you have to recognize it what, for what it is. And to use it as a stepping stone to just say, you know what, I'm not going to be a victim of this. This is not, I'm not going to let this claim my life. I'm not going to be, you know, the poster child for this and this and this and that. And if you can be able to... But, you know, cause like I said before, you know, um, cause this is my third time doing this video. So if I'm repeating myself, I do apologize. And my children was like, mom, you know, you put, you know, you put your stuff out there on YouTube. And I said, anything that you can turn into a positive, you know, turn from a negative and have it impact somebody to a positive, that is the only way to go. It really is the only way to go. Because it's like stress and negativity can really, it gives you headaches, it can give you body aches, you, you'll sleep a lot more, you don't have energy like you want, you know, like you used to, and that's not a healthy thing. Like me, I'm a, you know, an introvert, you know, I choose to be that way, and it's just like, some people are like, oh, you need to get out the house, but I'm okay, because even um, one of my friends asked me, how do you deal, you know, with your, you know, being an empath and stuff like that, how do you deal with being around different people with different vibes, and I said, sometimes it's hard to do. And I know I have to practice on that because, you know, I'm going to have to deal with a lot of people when all this stuff, you know, is settled. So it's just like I have to practice and deal with that and learn how to, you know, take every day step by step. And it's just like Rome wasn't built in a day. So you're not going to get over everything all at once in a day. It, it's going to take that time. But it's just like when you're going through ascension phases, you're going through Kundalini's. I mean, I have so many memories that come back and I'm just like... No, <laughs> you are not going to do this. You cancel that mess out. I'm not going to sit up here. And it's like, don't run from it. Don't run from it. Because it's going to keep on making you go right back to that brick wall. Like, like have death day, ground heart day. You want to keep going back to that issue, back to that issue until you are able to release it. And you release it. Do not become a victim of the things that you went through. And it, it's just like, I know it's hard, but it's just. You cannot be focused on the future. You just say you want to better yourself. You want to better yourself. You want to better yourself. But you're still stuck on the things that happen. You can't go to the next chapter if you keep rereading the things that you've been through before because it's becoming redundant. You know, it, you had to deal with it. And it's still something we cannot change is the past. We really can't. Because trust me, if we were time travelers, I would have just, there are so many things I would have did different. But it wouldn't have put me in the aspect that I am today. It wouldn't have brought me here. So I know I had to be able to improve myself and learn, you know, even though I can talk about anytime you can talk about your past and not cry and get upset about it, that lets you know you have healed. That lets you know you have healed. And if I bring my stuff up, it's just to help you guys get through the stuff that you got. You need to get through. And that's why you guys are sent to me. That's the reason why the universe is, you know, you're up here watching my videos now because we go through so many things and it, it's just like we try to rectify or try to understand and. You know, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? And I mean, there are so many jacked up things we went through, guys. And I'm so sorry for anything you've been through. And it, it can really mess your life up. It, it can be death. It can be abuse. It could be any kind of abuse. And it, it's just messed up. Neglect. And I had to deal with that. Abandonment issues. All that. But it has made me a stronger, better, better woman. 
and it, it's just like when I do my videos, it doesn't seem like a job to me because just to know that I'm sending out love and positivity and light to help guide others to do the same, I know I did my part. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. You know, release that inner trauma. Release that past. You know, you can't change it. If you could, you would. But release it. But just don't make it, you know, just don't let it victimize you. Don't make yourself a victim of it. Don't let it define you. If you can sit up here and turn that negative thing that you've been through to help somebody else, please do that. Please do that. And I will talk to you later. Like I said, I'm listening to Art Noise, the extended version. And I will go ahead and post that in the link below if you care to listen to it because it's very good. And if you're going through stuff, listen to some music. You know, meditate if you need to. Light candles. It's like right now, if you can see, it's like, you know, I got all these candles in the front of my dad's picture. All these candles. And I do that and it makes me clear my energy out. And you see Bob Marley's right behind me. You know, I, I just feel Bob here. And he's like, everything is going to be all right. So <laughs> I will talk to you later, guys. And much love to you. And I hope you have a blessed weekend. And be responsible at anything you do. And I will talk to you later. And I will always keep you in my prayers. And please save the prayers for the people in California that's going through these mad uh, fires. This is just crazy for you to be it be winter time and all these crazy fires is going about. And if you can, if you can help out anybody, I wish I could. Um, please do that and send love and prayers to them. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace and be wild.